fight you. Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start gloating. Okay. Damn straight. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. And then we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? When the guru pictures were taken and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrancing exams. No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? What the thing about my team has taught us? Memories are stolen from us. Motive. Motive. Stolen from us and what they must be related to. Oh, God. Shoot! Okay. Uh, 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 flash truck. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Alright, motives. My God! You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. Well, I did. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A uh, theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? The theme of the gave us the first murder, gave us the DDs, and the friends, they... Human connection. I got it! There we go. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. Yep. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge oh to kill. No. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Why is this happening? Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? So, the uh, most thing was just get weird envelopes. Just how I wet the bed. Past. I got it! There we go. It was our past, right? Yay! Mm -hmm. Makoto got it right again! Yay. That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole Ow. reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. Mm. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax! To the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? The murder was turn murder by uh, greed. I got it. it was greed. It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy. Hell yeah, you got it again. There you go. Goddamn straight, it was money. Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind Crazy Ass Sakura's crazy ass death? It's sick as death. It's how you decided to kill herself. The theme of the fourth case was. Betrayal. I got it! There we go, betrayal, yeah. In her case, it was betrayal. Yeah. Precisely. 
You see? Oh god, I hate this one! I like the happy one. With Once I revealed yeah. Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully oh, delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. That makes sense. This I mean... is what we refer to as the seed of despair. You say we. The seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. And, dis and despair and hope can grow in the presence Two of despair. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. <sighs> How so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. That's right. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Oh, don't tell me those memories were already filled with and despair. And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only Makes reason sense. we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct the mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Yeti slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Uh huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. Really? Whoa, we have to get to see the outside world. That's a world. You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? hoo <laughs> hoo I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. What the? That's... What the heck? Oh my goodness. Is that Buddha? Is that Buddha Monokuma? That's the Empire State. That's Buddha Monokuma! What the heck? What the? Oh no. Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What... What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something. Oh, it's... Right? What the what heck you is just going on? All of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about... It should we recognize? This whole thing that is insane. World. 
is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. Oh. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. That one's okay. That one is okay. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Because now it's time for the final class trial. Another cool boy. Let's see what's going on. Make your argument. It's like Jack's memory. Come on, bitches. Remember or die. What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but... When it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody remembering. Genocide Jack's memory. No, Genocide Jack is separate from Coco's. So she... Genocide Jack may have an idea. Actually, she might remember. Who? Who might remember? The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? The two yeah. of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? Mm. Let's see. If their memories are separate... Yeah, yeah, it'd be a good idea. even if one personality's forgotten, there's a chance, a chance the other the may others still, have still have those, those memories. memories. Yeah. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. It's me, your friendly, your friendly neighborhood serial, serial killer. killer. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question. And I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet oh, you. Oh, I'm too. glad everyone knows that. That's been. enough. Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye. Roger, you got it, Captain. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world. No, it's not her fault! More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? A tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, yeah. I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening, but it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster! Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Moreau saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! No, it isn't. This seems to be more... 
more of a tragedy than anything else. Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Thank you very much. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how can the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm yeah. down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? Hmm? Oh, that's your only choice! Well done, peasants. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Yeah, you are a sick person. Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Uh, hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? Yeah. I don't make sense! There's no way that happened a year ago! Yeah. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! Yeah. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? What? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it! You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more- Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Wait, what? Wait, what? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> What the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Same here, hero. I don't know what's going on. We have to answer somehow. You know, everything ends here. Things are stolen from us. She says, the rest of us remember getting here last. Remember she took us. Our life I got at Hope's it. Peak. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope, no, 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 nope, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. I'm not a peasant. I am a per- Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's yeah. right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... Yeah. that's not possible! I'm gonna think that too, I wouldn't want to believe it. 
That's not nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe, I want it to be possible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. Alright. Looks like... Make our argument, let's see. Uh, lock, your, lock your pocket note. Lock your pocket note. Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that! We've been living here for two years? Yeah! Hell no! That's impossible! No, it's I not. mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just... surreal. I know. Plus, if two years have passed... How freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! I mean, I haven't got- I've never even gone to a single- There we go. No, that's wrong! Yeah! We did it, guys! We're sort of smart. Hero. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? Because it's yours. I silly. found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Yeah. Wizza Wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Uh. This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt! But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing! That's because you lost no. your memory! No way! You lost your memory! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak, but somehow, you forgot all about it. You Lies! Know. It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either, but there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And yeah. the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? Yeah. <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yeah! No! Two oh. years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right wow. before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You wow. absorbed all that despair. But then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, oh no. and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Figure out... what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where's you come apart? How much noise you must have lost our memories? Well, one time, so from the main hall, first time that was when I think I got it. Yeah. The moment I lost my memories, I can't think of any time other than that day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall, when I passed out. I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow! You still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Yeah! Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? Yeah! I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. Hmm. 
I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The wow. reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got yeah. it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal! You were all such close friends! You spent two years together! And then you started killing each other! I hate you! And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated! <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale! Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it! You're the one who set things up to be like this! I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! I like you now, you're okay. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! I don't like you now. Mankind? Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Yeah. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Mm. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Mm. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. That's what? Famous. Are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know? It's almost like a natural phenomenon. What? Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay. So, let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. Oh. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! Oh, that's why all the windows are... That's right! It was transformed into a shelter. Well, that's why it was all the windows. Ah, were I said it twice. Now, someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do mm. any of you know who that might have been? Who's in shelter? The headmaster. I got it. It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. 
That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. Yeah, and that's why Miko said... We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope... That's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. Hmm. I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Oh. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. Ugh, and the only dang. reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. You only let us live? So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them. Which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? You bra broadcasted it. That is why you broadcasted it. Man's Gambit. Uh. You hijacked. You hijacked. Now That's I why understand. You hijacked the shelter and gave in uh you're talking about you hijacking yeah. the airwaves aren't you uh-huh that's exactly what i'm talking about to show like the world the murders the taking place at this school which was meant to be a symbol of hope that was the whole point of the ultimate despair when i said climax number three. that this was what three. i was talking about the world watched as you fell into despair Second, and began favorite. to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Wow, really? Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling this them. This one's okay, I'll give him number four. <sighs> expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure. But I also Number gave one. you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take. Give and take? You're so full of shit. And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's a lie. Oh. I just figured you'd despair even though when you found out a friend had betrayed you. Mm. 
fifth favorite. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? Try and See? fix it. Discovering the truth doesn't try necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth yeah, can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! So the truth full of despair. That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... we've been murdering each other? For nothing? Oh. And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. We get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Oh, yeah. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. Hmm. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes. Truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, I, I guess. what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Yeah, basically. Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure. I mean, Trust me, gone. I'm not lying about any of this. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you for the Yay. sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're you not just shut but up, you know? I already animals. feel bad enough as it is, man. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say what you want about hope. But we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. Hell yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories. Invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner! Mm. It's all your fault! You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But yeah. we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? No, oh, you and didn't. Also, no. since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well then, I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of hope. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Oh. Okay. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys, You'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. 
What? You mean we just... We'd have to just live here? She's saying she'll let us live! Nah. If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. Punish. And make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists. Where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed! Wait a sec! I just got hit with an inspiration bomb! Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all! So, here's what'll happen! One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment! What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say... you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide... who's gonna have to suck it down! Makoto, you're up! Me? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble! I hate you! So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me? What? That's... Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. No, go against you. Go... No. Guys? It's so beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Why are you so mean all Besides, the time? Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. You're the <laughs> one that killed him. Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair! We're not gonna lose to you! Oh, she is... So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life! The final vote. This is it, the ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. Let's see here. Make your argument. Okay. Locker pocketbook. We won't give up! Group photo. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die... That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> oh. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Meh. Uh, she's okay with it. All of you will have to leave. Okay, photos. You'll photo have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. My heart's actually beating right so, now. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Nah. Uh, I don't even have a choice to go to the third. There's no hope left in the world. Let me see. <laughs> Some, gonna... Okay. 
I was hoping the but despair is contagious, like you say. And so is hope. I use my own hope to plant seeds and hope everyone's heart. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to doubt, that would be the end. <laughs> hope. Don't lose hope now. All my fortune-telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. <laughs> but to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard. Even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? Yeah. I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why, no matter what, I need to get out of here. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. You know what? He's doing good. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, We'll never give up! Yeah! If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I've decided to have faith in myself. Yay! By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air purifier. Nope. Hope, oh, don't lose hope <laughs> now! Yeah, don't lose hope, dude. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? Yeah, what would you only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns? Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. Yeah. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! Yay! We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die, that would be the end. I... The By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air purifier. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the pure in other words, the communal life you've all been living will come. Don't lose hope now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. Hell, no matter how I look. You did a little bit comedy. No matter what, Master has to come along with us. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I just By the way, the I only reason myself. is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. I can keep on living as long as I have my... All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. Don't lose hope now! Yeah. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. <laughs> I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because oh, yeah. I'm still alive. Yeah, that is true. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known... We won't give up! Oh. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! Yeah. If I were to die... That would oh, be yeah. the end of Hope's this is, this is the epic of uh, I've decided to have faith in myself. Oh, crap. I already said I would claim the Mastermind's life by whatever means necessary. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Nah. I'm gonna kill you. Don't lose hope now. Yeah, kill you. It break. I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. Yeah. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. Yeah. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Yeah. Could it be that... No, never mind. 
So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. <gasps> you came here to confront despair without ever giving up. I'm the ultimate and if that's hope? true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? What the... What the hell are you? Oh, the ultimate hope has been added to the truth bullets cycle. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Lame, 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 lame. Here it comes, guys. The final showdown. I'm not going to kind of leave anything. Hope isn't talent you develop, but still. But still, I, but I still. Here it comes. Moment of truth. You suck! What do you want? So uncool! You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke! Who are you? Your idiocy ends here. You're gross! Suffer from despair! I just love despair! You suck! What do you want? So uncool! You're unbearable! <laughs> I get the joke. Hope is a joke. Who are you? Would you like to die? Nah. I'm You're good. gross. I know. Suffer right? from despair. Okay, listen. Everything I haven't showered in a couple of days, but it's fine. Look at that. Despair into tomorrow. Despair into hope keeps nah. on going. Yeah. Did it. Yeah, did it. I'm gonna beat the game. I beat the game, guys. I think. I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's yeah. going on? What's happening? I'm defying you. Oh, I probably failed. Yeah, uh, wait. Wait a minute. See, yeah. Okay, I probably got a B at the most. Oh, I got an A. I got an A right there. Why did I get medals? I don't have anything left. It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Uh, seems that Junko's gone into despair herself. Monokuma, vote! The hell? Indeed. You lost, Junka. I lost? You lost me? No. Well, way. that's just. Yeah, she's giving into. She's. Uh, you can't um... you still don't accept it. <laughs> the ultimate despair itself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair. It would seem. What the heck? There's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just. Oh god. So huh? this is despair. We need this suit to use. We created our incredible detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. And now I. To come this far and fail at the very end. True despair. It's the, the most ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking and now about? I. I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world at the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have a chance to taste the highest grade despair, the utter failure of my dreams. True despair! Oh, she's happy. Huh? Is she enjoying this? Anyway. Are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> I think I can't whether I won or lost. Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Totally the Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat Let me myself. Let me this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> yeah, but Kuro totally said... No, I did not. <laughs> Everyone. Hey. hey, you said despair is contagious as any disease. However... The same is true as hope. 
and Chef do look at us to see how true that is. Kyoku! Ah, no, no, no! Stop it, Sora! I hate those faces you're making! To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain! There's one last thing! Fine. Let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get hung up on the word hope, that's no skin of my nose. Just be warned. From this point, your own despair after another will stand in the way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe we'll find some hope, but there is a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. <laughs> oh, Dad, you still plan on clinging to your hope? Of course, because it's we... fine, it's Just fine. Just let me even question. You interrupt my monologue. I'm stunned, uh, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. You really intend to go through with this? <laughs> There's a creepy crates? Hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't stop have to. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! How what? many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> Taste the despair of death so they only want in life, so... Don't get in my way! <laughs> So this is how the despair of death feels. <sighs> it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. Mm. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. Oh, no. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> and she's gone crazy, dude. Congratulations, Yuka's been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh boy. Oh, she's combining everything? The ultimate punishment. The 1,000 blows. She's getting hit with the, one th the cage of death. The burning of the virtual witches. Exactly, Ex destroyer. Blast off. After school lesson. Emergency override? And it was off. And that's how everything came to an end. Final class trial. Junko Ishimura, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. The end. Monokuma hair tie. Oh, there has to be more. Come on. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed on itself or anything. It wasn't that kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, except one exception. The air purifiers turned off, just like Juna said. They shut off immediately. There's only one difference. The epilogue. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absentimental. It was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end. Hey. You can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. I'm more surprised it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. 
Do you have? Would you have the honors? Okay. I was awakened by Kyoko Fruit. I took out the object she'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it belonged to Junko. In the end, she dropped it before us. So, um. Is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read it to s what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. Hmm. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out. She said that just before dropping that. Makes sense it will be our way out of here. But... Never know, maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct. I mean, Juko never says specifically that she's let us out of here alive. It's true. She may be right about that. <laughs> maybe! Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about! My beautiful Something ever happened, I take my scissors and jam up so far... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Where's the fortune? Where's the mastermind? Oh. Oh, it's over. We're just about to leave the school. <laughs> we leave? We can go outside? <laughs> oh, no. That's enough. We have greater horror than anything we've I've encountered so far. Anyway. And we don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But. But what happens after we get out? Out that I'm worried about. <sighs> but you know, in the end, I think part of me still stinks. For serious? Maybe. When we get out, we'll see that everything she said was about the world was a lie. On the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie, peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we me were meant to live. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess so. And how do I put this? Unlike the school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. Also, there must be lots of hope. Right? In other words... After searching for hope, to try and find it. That by itself is a true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, it's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. No Juko mentioned that there were still others out there that hadn't cast away hope yet, just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami di Dynasty. <laughs> I'll with you, I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it! Well, my first stop is getting close as donut shop. I can't figure out the rest from there. Hey! And what are you gonna do if there are no more donut shops? Or donuts? Okay. I'm just gonna flower and make some myself. And if there's no flower, I'll just grow some wheat. <gasps> uh, I get it hmm. now. There's no road, you just build one. Creation. He is telling me to remake the Could world. It be? That's my hope! How about that? At least my next stage, the next chapter of Yasuhiro High. Kur Haga Curry's life story is about to begin. Whoa! Thanks, Tina. You totally opened my eyes. <gasps> hey, personal space, bud. You're seriously creeping me Makoto. out. Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone on the outside world is gone, even the world is steeped into despair. <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact. But we, what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. What can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. <laughs> you know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. Yeah. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and no. the others, I guess. No. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. Mm. I guess we graduated? Looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm gonna keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands, 
with our hands, hope and despair mingle together, opening the door to the future. Yep, nothing but pollution. What happened? Oh, Miguma Ogata, good job. Makiko Omoto, good job. T Takehiro Sakura, good job. K Kosuku Torimaru, good job. Akira Ishida, good job. Kazuro Naki, uh, good job. Kafiya Yamagishu, good job. Masaya Matsukaze, Yoko Hikasa, good job. Ch Chiwa Seato, good job. Miss America. Uh, Sashi Hiro, good job. Kyujiro, good job. Kyukujo Shina, I'm probably not gonna use wrong. Man, everyone did a good job, I love this. Man, Monica, Nobuo Yomami, Yamna. Takashi, Takeo, Sagi. Ah. Well, that's it. That's Dane Rapa. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking because this is most likely copyrighted music because you know it's YouTube and such. Oh, movie design. Daya Nikajima. Good job. Fumiko Nakeo Satoshi Kawahira. Uh, design staff. Uh, man, everyone did such a good job. I, this was a great experience. I love the programming corporation. Tamataiko Tamtama. You know. Oh god, everyone is so good at the people who come up with these sorts of things just astonish me. It's just amazing. Uh G Cell Co. Uh man and a lot of people took part in this. I mean it's not surprising, but man, it's just really cool that the music now I'm just gonna have a drink of water with you quick, excuse me. Uh, sorry. Oh man. Oh man, it was just so good, I love this, but they still didn't answer the big question I have in my mind. What exactly is happening outside of the school? I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. Co-Run Inc. Huh. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but if there's a second Dingarapa, I'm gonna be playing that really soon. Once I'm done editing all these videos, I haven't even begun on the on the uh, fourth chapter yet. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like halfway through the first episode. But I said I would promise my old brother that I would finish this game before the summer's end. And so I did that, but not while you guys are seeing it, because I recorded this all in one thing. And Jesus, this is one really long recording. The class trials and everything after I do in one recording. So I do, uh, so this, and right now is in a total of two hours and 37 minutes for just this recording so this is oh goodness me oh god this is gonna be such oh this is gonna be a pain to edit down and then i have to add in all the special effects and then everything like that but oh well i mean things happen and Fun. And this was very fun. Now I can like go through the, the web and not be spoiled by anything from the first game. I mean, I'll probably be spoiled by something from the second game. I mean, but whatever, you know. Uh, oh, look, it's Mondo. You know, I. Uh, everyone did such a good job. I love all the voices. Uh, and here's the thing: I want to do like, uh, uh, what is it? I want to do voice acting on my own, but I can't because well, I'm. Not, wait, why is that a thing? No, no, okay, um, no, why is that a thing? Stop that. No. Oh, <laughs> the Mondo Butter, that's right. The Mondo Butter, oh man. Everything's just so funny in this. Oh, the explosion. Uh, man. The, and I, I like this design too, I like the cardboard uh, 
the cardboard thing they did with this game. It, I think it was very inventive. And, uh, I've, interesting thing, I've been watching the anime as well as this game alongside each other. So, and I can see, I see very many, I see many different, uh, things going on. Spike Tunesoft. Good job. Spike Tunesoft, you did a good job, you guys. You did a good job. Now, let's see. What? What? No, don't tell me. <laughs> interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster. Oh no! Oh. Oh, and receive the Easter egg present. All's well that ends um. I beat the game. Wait, school mode? What's that? What if simulation type play mode? Check all kinds of special bonuses for the game the more you unlock. Well, guys, that is the end of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. There seems to be other stuff here, but I think my brothers told me about this after you beat the game. There's like a school mode where you can go around, just uh, talk to everyone. Basically, you can... Excuse me, that was rude. Uh, you can get relationships with them, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that on my own time because I want to experience it and you will be able to experience it at your own time and money because this is a very good game, okay? And if you feel like you, uh, if you feel like this isn't worth your money, then hey, you can watch this. I mean, that's what you already did, so... Anyway, y'all, thank you for watch very much for watching, like, comment and subscribe for future updates on the channel so you can see more of this if you like and i'm going to be taking a little break from ding and rapa at least for me at least i mean i'm going to it's going to be months probably two or three months since till everything comes out so yeah so Danganronpa 2 is going to come sometime soon. I'm not sure, but I'm very excited for it. Anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.